Welcome back to Jablam Sports presentation of the 2020 NBA simulation playoffs. That's right, we are simulating every single game for the NBA playoffs right here on jablamsports.com. Check our website, you'll get all your stats, series, and information there. Coming up next, game five. Miami Heat lead 3-1 against the Pacers, and we have two games later coming up. Jimmy Butler and his Heat have been doing really well. They're leading the series 3-1. The series could be over tonight for Indiana, my Pacers. That'll be tough to see, but it could be over tonight if they win the Heat. Let's see what happens in Game 5. Remember, go to our website, jablamsports.com, get all your stats, series, and information, and you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. Enjoy the game. Someone could go home after this weekend. I'm not talking about dun, us going dun, home dun, after dun, the, dun, the dun. show. But can you talk about the feelings for the team facing elimination? Yeah, there's a collective realization that this could be it for you at the end of the season, man. That, that's not a good feeling you want to have. So it does heighten your focus. Well, on the flip side, if your team trying to close this out, you got to use that confidence, baby. Hit your opponent hard and early and finish them and make the other team say, one, one two, two, three, can't go. All right. Tip off coming up shortly. Here's Kevin. Desperation hangs in the air. One team looking to advance to the next round. The other, and the other looking to force a game six. What will happen? These are the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. GA, it's all yours. Well, Victor Oladipo has a huge task and a long road in front of him making his way back from that knee injury. But you talk to his teammates, and they rave about his mental makeup. They say he's an incredible person, great to be around, the most positive guy they've ever played with. So, Kevin, if anyone can come back from this, he can. You better believe it. Outstanding, David. Thank you. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. Oladipo is the two with Warren playing small forward. Sabonis and Turner up front, and it's Brogdon in at the guard position. And for Miami, Bam Adebayo is out there with Jay Crowder. Then there's Igudala. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Dragic in at the point guard. And the Pacers start off with the ball. Brogdon with it. And the pass to Warren. Let's it go from 11. Kept alive. Shots good by Turner. Boy, how about the determination of Turner? I mean, he's a wrecking ball on the glass on both ends of the floor. Just doesn't give up on plays. Now, here's Dragic. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I gotta say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Neither did the defense. Rod didn't pitch to Oladipo. Over Igudala. No one near Turner as he lets it go. Jay Crowder with the rebound. 
he has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. Rogic finds Butler. It's hauled in by Warren. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Now, here's Sabonis. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. Outside Crowder. And so just over a minute and a half play. Bobs it up for Crowder. That pass into the paint. That is a work of art there. Dead on target. Pacers have gone just 1 of 4 to get this game started. Right in the pass to turn. Indiana moving it around. Good. And it's Oladipo picking up the assist. And off to a strong start offensively. He's got a nice touch. Rogic dishes to Butler. In the corner, Iguodala with it. Shot clock at five. On the wing. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Boy, defense non-existent there. But they catch a break as he whiffs it. Yep, that one goes in there. Sheer muscle that time from the clever guard, Victor Oladipo. I like how he takes the punishment and just fights through it. Warren against Butler. At the teardrop, the rebound by Turner. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. And Oladipo gets to Brogdon. Passes it to Warren. Oladipo outside. Brogdon outside. Three-pointer. Here's a bonus. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Oh, I love the aggressive nature with which Sabonis offensive rebounds. He hustles, he's got great energy, but he's also pretty skilled. And you saw all of that right there. Here's Trogic, and it's sent back by Turner. Oladipo against Iguodala. And Oladipo kicks to Turner. Good, and it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Turner's got seven points. Oh, great ball movement there. The Heat trail by seven. They've been struggling here on offense. Out. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. They come off the loss on Friday. Live by the three, die by the three. If you're perimeter dependent, you don't really know game to game how it's going to go. You know, I think the lack of success from the perimeter really did them in. They just couldn't get it going from there. against Adebayo. Cloak loose. McDermott with a steal. Now, here's McConnell. Pass to Turner. It's Adebayo with the rebound. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Here's Adebayo. Pass to none. 
144 left to play in the first quarter. Back to Adebayo. He kicks it to Robinson. Four on the shot clock. Here's none. And you can see they are struggling from the field. But still early. I mean, they just got to trust their offense and work to get stops. And McConnell gets it to go. Here's none. They need this one. It's good. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. McConnell passes to Lamb. Here's McConnell. 54 seconds left in the first quarter. Back to McDermott. Overall in it. McDermott can't get it to go. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Here's Lamb. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got four rebounds now tonight. Jones up top. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. A pass to none. Miami needs to get a shot off. Outside Robinson. Here's Autobio. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Uh, how about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? From deep three-point range, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And we reached the end of the first quarter. Pacers lead by five. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. The trade deadline is approaching, and Jimmy Butler talked about how it feels hearing your name in trade rumors. It's a little bit different for everybody, to tell you the truth. For me, I don't think about it, because whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You go out there and control what you can't control. You know, try to help your team win games, play to the best of your ability. And if it just so happens you get traded, then you got to suit up and play for the next team. Staying level-headed and ready for whatever's next. Uh, that's Jimmy's mindset, Greg, in a nutshell. And it's fair to say that the level of professionalism and maturity he possesses is really impressive. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from courtside at Game 5. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Pacers? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for the Heat, in the middle, it's Olenek in Adebayo. Then it's Jones, then it's Robinson, and it's none in at the one. Jay Crowder's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Free throw drops for McDermott. And when you think of McDermott, the first thing that comes to my mind anyway is three-point shooting ability. He's very effective spacing the floor. And here is Robinson, still looking for his first bucket in this one. The layup missed. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. Holiday, the pass to McConnell. Here's Leaf. Indiana moving the ball over. Lamb with the bounce pass. Here's McDermott. Hits the outside fadeaway. McDermott's got the lead up to 10 now for the Pacers. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Yeah, and that field goal percentage zooming upwards is now above 50%, which is pretty strong. Now, here is Robinson. Outside Crowder. Over McConnell. Miami no good on that time either. 
That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Outside, how would I? Passes to Lamb. Looks up a three. That shot off the mark. And Miami the other way now. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Kicks it to Jones. Outside Robinson. He dishes it to Olenek over Lamb. Olenek can't hit. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. And that one, good. Timeout, timeout. And the Pacers lead by 12. Boy, I tell you what, nice watching Lamb convert these hard baskets. I mean, showing some real toughness on that play. Timeout called the Heat. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. Uh, that's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be it up and for those of you just joining us we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter now Igudala he's been quiet so far still no points in the game here's Trogic that falls nice speed that time from Andre Igudala boy the unselfishness of Igudala is really admirable forward with excellent vision has a feel for when one of his guys is open. Now, here's Oladipo. Back to Sabonis. Flying his work from deep. It's hauled in by the Heat. Iguodala dishes to Dragic. Stolen by Warren. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. Brogdon leading the charge. Love how Brogdon runs when the break is on, determined to beat everybody down the floor. Iguodala against Oladipo. On the wing, it's Iguodala, and the layup's good off the glass. Iguodala has got his first points of the night. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. outside and the three off target the heat trail by 10 Dragic with a wide open look a three pointer off the mark they get a hand on it it's stolen by Dragic moving it up and the lead is down inside single digits Dragic has got four this quarter a savvy passer at his position. Iguodala has that pass-first mentality that his teammates appreciate. Now, here's Warren. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. The Pacers shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Free throw good from Warren. Ben Adebayo is checked in for Jay Crowder. And Indiana with a change here, too. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Justin Holliday. Oh, 
all free throws. Good from Warren. 136 left to play in the first half. Outside Dragic. The dish to Butler. Seventeen foot shot on the way. And that one is off. So Indiana will take it the other way. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backcourt. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. Uh, we'll see if that's the answer. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now, here's Oladipo. Just five on the clock. Here's Brogdon, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Goran Dragic. You know, Malcolm Brogdon has really good size and strength and basketball IQ, which makes him hard to guard for the defense. Indiana shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. First one falls for him. You know, he's a big guard who really uses his size well. Brogdon is capable of playing either of the guard spots. He's old school in that way, just a guard who happens to be very versatile. Brogdon hits them both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Brogdon against Dragic. To the middle. Olenek. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to go on Sabonis. And Olenek up and down at the free throw line early in his career, but with his touch, he's bound to become more consistent. switch here. Nunn's checked in. The Pacers also changing it up. Jeremy Lamb's checked in for Victor Oladipo, and it's T.J. McConnell in for Brogdon. Good on both. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the half. Warren on the wing. Defended by Butler. Sabonis kicks to Lamb. Over Iguodala. And the Pacers can't get it to go. And so it's Indiana in the driver's seat up eight points at the end of the quarter they played the better game so far but their work is far from over and now let's catch up with david aldridge who's standing by from the sideline all right dave thanks very much Gordon. how would you say you guys have done in the first half i uh, you know we are battling uh, we as a team and if we're gonna play like that um, i think so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be okay see what happens in the second half. Thanks, Gordon. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Taking a look at the Pacers. It's been a tough series for them so far, trailing three games to one, but they've clearly still got some fight left in them. First half of game five, they are playing very well, and they're out to prove they can stick around for at least another game. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Pacers? What is the defense that's driven them in this game so far? They were high energy, high intensity, 
Yeah. It was that determination on D that's allowed them to jump out of this game. Every stop they've made just seemed to pump them up. Kenny, what you think about Miami? Well, they shot under 40 percent in the first half. There's your deficit. They missed some open throws, wide open. But overall, I thought the offense was stacked. Look for their coach to draw up some specific plays to try to jumpstart them in the second half. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. again as our round one coverage continues. You gotta like what Miles Turner, guys, has done in this game. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with, within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Here's Butler. He's been patient so far, nothing on the scoreboard yet. And on the floor for Nate McMillan starting the second half. Ogden and Oladipo, the backcourt duo. Sabonis and Turner up front, and it's Warren in at the small forward position. Pacers leading by eight. Brogdon with it. Pass to Oladipo, jacks up a three. Offensive rebound, and slam dunk by Sabonis. And you know what? At six foot ten, dunking is low stress for Sabonis. Solid in getting himself inside for these throwdowns. Now here's Dragic. Six points for him. Outside Crowder. Down to five on the shot clock. The baseline J off the mark. That's one he knows he should have drained. Warren against Butler. Sabonis, Turner trying to free himself up. Flanked it by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Sabonis is not only very strong, he's extremely crafty around the basket, too. Plays with great instincts inside. Rogic the pass to Butler. It's Trogic with the drive. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. That's now eight points for Gordon Trogic. And it's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. So, timeout called here, the first for Indiana. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Robinson comes in for Andre Iguodala. Leaf checked in for the Pacers. Doug McDermott comes in for Warren. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Back to Oladipo. And once again off the mark by Indiana. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And Adebayo throws it down. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the at the basket, guys, still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. Now, here's Oladipo. Back to Turner. Oladipo outside. Five to shoot. Floats one. It's Autobio with the rebound. Adebayo's got seven rebounds in the game. 
outside, Jones. Pass to Robinson. Back to Jones, and there's the pass to Autobahn. Nice D from Oladipo. Pacers leading by eight. Brogdon outside. Passes it to Turner. Oladipo taking his time here. Let's the three fly. Indiana again missing. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. Count that bucket. Trogic just got 10. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Trogic against Brogdon. Master Oladipo. Pass to Leaf. Over Robinson. And the Pacers can't get it to go. And George Crowder with it. They'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that. And now we've got ourselves a ball game. And the Pacers call time here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Justin Holliday's checked in for T.J. Leaf. Jeremy Lamb comes in for Oladipo. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Brodkin. Outside, Lamb. There's the pass to Turner. McConnell scanning the floor, poked away. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You too. with possession here. McDermott finds Turner. Top of the key, Holiday. Indiana moving the ball around. Shot clock at five. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Here's Turner. He trades it as the shot clock ticks down. Turner's got nine points. Man, love how Turner reads the defense. Sensing and seeing separation as the pass is coming his way. Man, calmly pulling up for the shot. Nice. Here's Dunn. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. First free throw is good. A different look for Miami. Butler, he's checked in for Bam Adebayo. And it's Iguodala in for Robinson. And Indiana with a change here, too. Sabonis is checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Indiana leading by four. Goes up on the block. None grabs the board. Now the Heat with it. They've outscored him 10 points to two during this run. And the all-around game, Iguodala 
possesses makes him unique. Does whatever is asked of him on the floor. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. He can't get the first one. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Doug McDermott. He's off on the second. Indiana leading. Looking for an opening. Passes it to Lamb. Down low. Here's McConnell. And he banks in the layup. You know, this is an area Lamb must continue to improve. His passing. And when he passes it like this, it helps out a lot. Kicks it to Olenek. Lamb against Udell. Outside Butler. Six on the shot clock. But Pacers pull it in. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Now, here's McConnell. Sabonis in slam dunk by Sabonis. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. Here's none. This one for three. Jones. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. And so it's the Indiana Pacers with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Back right after this. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Butler and Olenek, the forward duo. Then it's Jones. Then there's Iguodala. And it's Nunn in at the one spot. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Now, here's Warren. Over Jones. And the Pacers tack on two more. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway. Take the shot that's available. Holiday against Butler. Lays it up and banks it in. Really hard to stay with Jimmy Butler because he's so good at getting shots up and in past the defense. He just has a real knack for scoring even when challenged. That's the holiday. Back to McConnell. Outside, Lamb. Misses the three. And you know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. And Butler, here we go. And it's Butler with the jam. Hard to stop Butler when he's driving to the rim. Determined to finish. And so it's Lamb with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Four-point game. Pass to Holiday. Now the pass to Sabonis over Butler. And Jones pulls it down. Butler attacking. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to go on Sabonis. On these drives, the athleticism and strength of Butler really shows up. The defense just not able to react quick enough. 
And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Pacers. But their rebound, and they've given themselves a lot of second chances, and it's really helped them. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. That free throw good from Butler. And, you know, you can see and even feel the drive and passion Butler plays with. He's an effective two-way player who just loves to compete. Catching up on the changes now for Indiana. Turner's checked in for Justin Holiday. Victor Oladipo comes in for Lamb. And Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for T.J. McConnell. And so Butler nails both of them. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive, Greg. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Now, here's Warren. Here's Turner. Shane Crowder with the rebound. Miami trailing. Butler at the elbow to tie it up. That one fall. Coming off Iguodala's feed. Iguodala has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Now, here's Oladipo. Pass to Sabonis. Now, here's Brogdon. He's guarded by Trotich. And that one's good, Brogdon. And the Pacers lead by two. Boy, with that strong body and good size, Brogdon's able to finish through contact. Brogdon's the pass to Butler. Iguodala against Oladipo. For three, a winning. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Iguodala against Oladipo. Outside Warren. Front pass the arc. Sinks the three-pointer. Now it's a five-point pacer lead. Boy, that's outstanding court awareness from Oladipo. Head up and found the open man. Now a timeout called by Miami. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Dan Adebayo checked in for Miami. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Eric Spolster address the team. He got on his guys about allowing too many paint points. He said, hey, we've got to be scrappy. We've got to be quicker to help, quicker to collapse the lane. You guys know what to do. Now you got to give me the effort. I want to see some nasty. Kevin, I don't think you can sleep on Butler's passing ability now. I mean, he's quite good at knifing the rock through the defense on time and on target, especially in these screen and rolls. Timeout called the Pacers. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Miles Turner. And the D tried to get physical with him down low tonight, and it really backfired. Instead, he's just torn them up. He was aggressive inviting the contact and really just taking it straight to him. Now, here's Brogdon. Here's Turner. It's hauled in by the Heat. Crowder's got rebound number five here tonight. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Butler just excellent at finding ways to get to the stripe, especially when he's near the basket. And he makes the first. And so Butler nails both of them. And really just a great rhythm at the line, whether it's a big lead in the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance. Now, here's Brogdon. 
It's Oladipo on the wing. He's covered by Iguodala. Here's Warren on target from 13 feet. Warren's got seven points here in this quarter. His mid-range shot is very solid. I mean, for some reason, the defense let him have it. Rock hits the pass to Crowder. Big Udala against Oladipo. Pass to Butler. The 19-foot shot. It doesn't go for him. So Indiana will take it the other way. They've held a 12-point lead early. And Oladipo kicks to Brogdon. Big Udala against Oladipo. Pass to Brogdon. Floats one up. He takes it up and lays it in. And it's a five-point Indiana lead. Outstanding poise from Malcolm Brogdon. Relishes any chance he gets to be the man in the clutch. Here's Butler. Nice D from Warren. And it's Warren with the ball for the Indiana Pacers. 56 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Brogdon kicks to Warren. The pass to Oladipo. Over Iguodala. And again, it's Indiana. Time out, time out. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. Now, I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're trailing by seven. 41 seconds left to play in the final quarter. seconds left in the game. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. And you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. Now, Brogdon after the missed three from Goran Dragic. Lock at six. Warren the pass to Brogdon. There's the three. And it's Iguodala with the rebound. And here we go, it's Butler. Good! No fear in Butler, not afraid of anybody. Poise personified. Takes pride in stepping up when the game is on the line. And now they decide to foul intentionally. holiday and so they foul intentionally And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Timeout called the Heat. They're trailing by seven. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Well, guys, what do you think? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. Seven seconds left in the fourth. Good! Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. So it's Indiana picking up the win. People were riding their obituary before this game, but, but this win cast the series in a whole new light now, Bert. And listen, they still got to win two more, but after seeing how they perform tonight, is there any doubt, Kevin, they're capable of it? I mean, we could be in the midst of a major comeback. No doubt at all. You're right. 
It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Victor, what does tonight's performance say about the confidence of this team? Uh, just look pretty good. We play great together. You know, um, we play well together as a team, so when we do that, it's easier for us to be teams. Victor, one to Martha. Thank you, my man. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Olden, this is Kevin Allen along with our terrific Chicago Sports Group. Thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. What a match. The Pacers. Are they going to do it, folks? They were down 3 nothing in this series. And now it's 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. Pacers are inching closer. And in two days, game six, and they could tie up this series. That will be nuts if the Pacers can win the next game or two. I don't, it hasn't been done many times. A huge comeback. Down three. Nothing in a series. And then the ultimate comeback. But the Pacers are on pace to do just that. Wow. Okay. Go to our website, JapanSports.com. We have all our schedules and, of course, our stats for every game, every team, and the league leaders. Of course, we got the playoff tree, everything there. You can watch our games live right here where you're watching it, either on Twitch or on our website, JapanSports.com. And we post them later on on our website for every game as well as on our YouTube page. Go to our website, jablamsports.com. Click on simulation and then click on NBA. You can check NHL too. Tomorrow, game six. Flyers are up 3-2. So you can check that out as well. But again, you can go there, check out our simulation, click on NBA, see everything, the stats and everything you want. And you can contact us if you want on Twitter, at jablamsports. We're everywhere. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. And we're, of course, we're on our website jablamsports.com check it out all right bear with us as we get ready for the last two games of the night coming up next check them out if you want it's going to be denver and 